Hey everybody, welcome back to Thicker Liquor. I bought these three bourbons. I don't like them. Let's get into it. All right, thanks again for checking out this video here at Thicker Liquor. My name is John, and these are three bourbons I regret buying, and I wish I can get my money back. And, uh, and I'll talk to you a little bit why that is, because, um, you know, over here on the channel, we're just trying out different bourbons and different uh, spirits, and uh, I'm just going to tell you my opinion on what I think about stuff, and... Uh, I don't have any uh, beef with any of these companies. I just either like it or I don't like it. So, and to each his own. I mean, they've been around for a while, so I'm sure uh, they're good for somebody. But I'm going to try to give you a little insight as to what they may taste like and what you can expect uh, when you, if you ever purchase any of these three. All right, I've poured a little bit in each one. Again, they're not my favorite, so I'm not gonna have a traditional cocktail or an ice or anything. I'm just gonna talk to you about what they taste like and what I'm getting out of this. This is Old Soul, small batch, high rye. Uh, it's a straight bourbon whiskey. It is made, it's a product of Mississippi, Mississippi's oldest distillery. Pretty cool history. I thought, uh, why not give it a try? But, uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about what I encountered on this. It says, Old Soul is a precise blend of whiskey, each with its identical high rye mash bill. All right, so that's what it is, and it's a high rye, so I probably should have known uh, what to expect here, but it smells terrific. This is a strange thing about this. You smell this, you're like, oh, this is like a noble oak or a... Uh, the Hotel Tango, something sweet and caramely, and it does have a little bit of a sweet, but, and I'll tell you right now, man, the peat or whatever that is in that, it's, they're like trying to emulate like a scotch, I think. If you like scotch whiskey, you'll like this bourbon. Uh, that's all I can say about that. I mean, it is... It has a great flavor, but oof, the alcohol uh, taste in it, I think, is, um, is per it's, it's a little bit too much for me. Uh, you know, maybe sitting on ice for a little while, melting down, it might be pretty good. But it, it's just very alcoholy to me. Um, so it's not really my favorite thing at all. I just don't like that aftertaste and that uh, emulating that scotch uh, type of whiskey. Next one, we'll, I'll move on over here to this Bearcat bourbon. Now, this is a really cool thing because the bottle is really cool. Uh, Bearcat, if anyone knows, it's a 1920s slang term for a fiery, spirited woman. You know those of you who are watching out there who I'm talking about. But, you know, this is, uh, it says, named in the honor of the countless female bootleggers, distillers, and industry innovators whose unsung contributions are indispensable to the story of American bourbon. That may be true, okay? But I'll tell you, this bourbon has pretty cool things written on the side, okay? It says ingredients, it has bourbon, orange peel, and a hint of spice. Um, so, and the idea here that they want it to serve straight, they're trying to make this a martini. My best way to explain this is that this is a bourbon martini. With the orange peel, it's like they, it's they, they dumped way too much orange peel extract or bitters in here because that's all I get in here. And it's a shame because it's super smooth at 80 proof. It's just overwhelming with the orange peel. And uh, I don't like it. I, I mean, you're, it's like you're chewing on an orange orange peel the whole time. Uh, I, I, don't, I can't taste any bourbon. All I taste is orange peel whiskey. Again, 
like a whiskey martini. Uh, that's what I get out of this. I mean, from the smell, it smells just like orange, like an orange, like you just cracked open an orange right in front of me. But the taste, it's, it's almost like, um, it's not terrible, but it's not bourbon that you're looking for, okay? So it almost tastes like, I'll be honest, like Jägermeister. It's not like as thick as Jägermeister, obviously, but it, it clearly has a Jägermeister flavor to this. And again, the orange peel taste, it's still in my mouth. I felt like um, like I chewed on an orange peel. Uh, that's the best way I can ex describe it. So, uh, Bearcat Bourbon, not cheap, $28. I'll put the price right over here for this one. Old Soul is right over here, and Bearcat is right over here. All right, so we'll move on to Stillhouse, America's finest, finest black bourbon, okay? I don't know if I know any other black bourbon, but it's a masterful blend of corn, rye, barley, limestone water, barreled and charred new American oaks, just like bourbon's supposed to make, be made. Uh, charcoal filtered, that's how they make it in Tennessee. They gotta filter it, and this is a Columbia, Tennessee whiskey. Okay, by the Stillhouse Spirits Company. And then they do something with coffee. Okay, they like put coffee in it or something like that. It says here, small batch coffee beans, giving it a unique complex taste. It's terrible. I don't like it. I mean, at first smell, I mean, you can use this to like polish your silver. That's what I think, you know. Um, We called it the turpentine. It just was not my favorite thing. It has a very lasting flavor, if you if you can imagine that. It smells very alcoholy, and um, it leaves just to me kind of a sourish uh, taste um, that just really won't go away. You know, so yeah, that's not that's not really for me. You know, so uh, what am I going to do with these bourbons uh, now that they, uh, I realize I don't really like them that much. So uh, this one right here and this one right here will probably be used to make some whiskey sours or something that I'm going to have a lot of sweet stuff in it to kind of just cover the taste. It becomes like a base bourbon for whiskey. Sorry guys. And this one over here, I don't know, I'm going to experiment with this one because that First of all, if they wanted to make a martini, just make a martini. I mean, you don't have to like ruin a bourbon in the process, you know what I mean? So, what I'm gonna do is, I think this might be pretty good if you mix this in with some sweet and sour, uh, make yourself like a little whiskey, some kind of whiskey mix with a pucker or something like that, maybe some uh, Midori melon, something that'll counter that bitterness from the orange peel and might be, be able to give it a pretty good flavor. We're going to check that out, and I'll let you know uh, in the comments if that's worth drinking. All right, so what you guys think of the video, let me know in the comments. Are these one of your favorites? Anybody like Old Soul? Anybody like a Little Stillhouse or some Bearcat Bourbon? You let me know. Am I wrong? You let me know in the comments. Uh, I won't hate. It's just an opinion. This is just what I personally think of these bourbons, and I definitely wouldn't buy them again. Uh, when there's so much what I consider so much better tasting stuff out in the market so uh, where you at with this this or that let me know in the comments thanks again for watching I'll catch you next time on Thicker Liquor